we present At Table, an interactive table improving temporal navigation in soccer ranking tables. Standard ranking tables for soccer championships display teams as rows and points and other statistics as columns, such as the number of wins or the number of goals conceded. Teams are ranked according to one column, by default the accumulated number of points. In a championship, the values of the dimensions for each team change each time a team plays a game. Thus, the table contents and row ordering change for each day of the championship. Without visual help, it is almost impossible to track changes, observe teams' evolution, or generally perform temporal tasks. To perform temporal tasks, well-known visualization and interaction techniques may help, such as sliders to browse the temporal dimension, animated transitions and row highlighting to follow a team, and column sorting to rank teams according to a specific dimension. However, performing complex temporal tasks is difficult using these generic techniques. We introduced two new interactive techniques to enhance temporal navigation in ranking tables. Drag cell is a direct manipulation technique to browse time by interacting in the value domain instead of the time domain. First, the user mouse clicks a cell corresponding to a team's dimension. By dragging the mouse up and down, she explores the value domain of the cell. Arrows indicate a preview of each team's behavior if the mouse were to be released, and a temporal slider displays feedback. When releasing the mouse, the table changes to the time at which the team has the selected value. The arrows disappear. For example, let's answer the following common question addressed by soccer analysts. When did a team reach the theoretical number of points, 42, to be safe from being downgraded to the minor league? Using traditional interaction techniques, the user would browse the temporal dimension to find the first time at which a particular team, here, Montpellier, obtains a value greater or equal to 42 in the points column. Using drag cell, the user interacts directly with the value domain to perform the task, making the interaction more direct and faster. The second technique, VizRank, uses line charts as a temporary overview of the championship. First, the user clicks a cell corresponding to a team and a dimension. VizRank animates the table into a timeline format by widening the columns and rows. The y-axis of the chart represents the selected dimension's values, while the x-axis represents time. One line chart is displayed for each previously selected team using semantically resonant colors. An inspector shows the values of each line chart. VizRank provides two scales, an absolute scale, mapping line charts on the dimension values, and a relative scale, mapping line charts on ranks. The user can also select or unselect teams to show or hide their corresponding line chart. Finally, Clicking the overview chart transforms it back into a table using the inverse transition with the selected time value. To illustrate the usefulness of VizRank, let's answer the following question. How many times did two teams pass each other in the ranking? Using traditional interaction techniques, answering this question requires selecting the two teams and browsing the temporal dimension. The user must then count how many times the two selected teams exchange their vertical position. The answer is not obvious and subject to error. Using VizRank, the user selects the two teams and triggers the timeline overview. This particular task is much easier thanks to the relative scale. The answer appears clearly.